So this is a pretension load to the front part of the torso and through this chest area. You want to make sure you have an elevated platform so that, that you can rest your forearm onto so you can use a desk or a table and also something slightly elevated whether it's a yoga block that I'm going to use or a folded up blanket. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure your elbow is bent at 90 degrees and then you're going to place that forearm on the platform. From there you're going to lower your torso down so that your torso is roughly about parallel with the floor until you feel some tension in the front part of the the uh, torso or the chest area. Once you reach that position, then you're going to raise the wrist up off of the platform, making sure the elbow stays down until you feel more load or more tension in the tissue. Since I feel it there when I bring the arm up, this is where I'm going to use my yoga block and I'm going to allow the yoga block to keep my wrist higher and elevated higher than my elbow. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift my body, my torso one direction and also the opposite direction. Then once I feel a position where I feel more tension, I'm just going to hold that position. So since I, hit, I feel it more when my tush is facing this direction, I'm going to hold that position. Now I'm going to try to sink or push my butt backwards a little bit more so I feel more tension into the target tissue. Now this works great if you have a roller chair like I do, but if not, you may have to skip this, this step. But if you do have a roller chair or if you're able to push your tush backwards a little bit more and can feel more tension in the target tissue, definitely hold it there. After that, then you're going to drop the opposite shoulder down towards the floor or raise it up towards the ceiling and trying to see where you feel more tension. I actually feel more when I'm dropping down, so I'm going to hold this position. Since this is the last driver or the last movement, I'm going to just work on going up and down, focusing on trying to drop my shoulder down a little bit further. So I'm going to start low until I feel more tension and then I'm slightly going to back off and then I'm going to allow my body or my shoulder to dip down further. I can place my hand on my knee for added support and then just allow that shoulder to drop down feeling more tension. And then I'm going to back off and I'll try that one more time trying to dip down a little bit further. Now if it's the opposite direction that you feel more tension, so if you feel more tension when you bring your shoulder upward then you can place that opposite hand on that knee so you can use that to help you lift up a little bit more. So let's say I feel more tension when I'm going like this, I'm going to hold that position, slightly back off, and try to go a little bit further, pushing my hand into my knee to elevate my torso or rotate my torso towards this direction. Holding that, slightly back off, and then going one more time, trying to go further than I did the previous attempt.